Hey guys, welcome back to the Fragrance Wardrobe. I am Michael, and today we're going to do something I haven't done before. I don't think I've seen it done either. So I'm going to say this is an original content idea. Surprise, surprise. I know I'm not stealing somebody's idea this time. All right, so I had this thought going into the new year that I would keep a journal, a record of every fragrance that I wear every day for the month, all of that. And at the end of the month, or the first of each month, I would do a ranking thing. So like, which fragrance did I wear the most of, or the top three that I wore the most of, and then which three houses did I wear the most of, and also recap the pickups that I pulled in that month to see what I think are going to be like killer, like winning fragrances or whatever coming up. So, Okay, so let's get on with the first ever Fragrance Wardrobe Fragrance Awards. <laughs> Alright, before we get into it, I do want to remind you guys, if you see anything in the video you like, please give it a like. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications so you get notified when I have a new video coming out. Okay, here's the deal. I wrote down in this journal everything that I wore this month or for the month of January. Now I am going to try to drop these videos on the first of each month, but yesterday was, you know, I guess the end of the week, that's weekly rotation day, so we're doing it on the second this month. But typically the first of every month, we will do a fragrance awards video. So this one, here's the deal. We're going to go over the top three fragrances that I wore. So that's going to be for like fragrance of the month. Fragrance wardrobe, fragrance of the month nominated and picked by Michael. All right, and then we'll do the top house of the month. We'll do the top three houses, and we'll have like a number one, number two, number three, and there we go. Also, I will recap the fragrances that I bought for the month, and we will talk about a few of them that I think are going to be like the next big thing in my fragrance wardrobe. Okay. Let's get after it. Let's go ahead and start this video. Okay, so for the month of January, now I'm not including my after the shower fragrances that I wear to bed because that's not really like, that doesn't count or else like Nautica Classic would win most of these. So <laughs> this is the only daytime full wearing type of fragrances. Okay, for the month of January, there were 31 days in the month. I'm doing like two categories, kind of, sort of. So there's the indie and niche all of that in that you know that one little category and then we have all the designer stuff so uh, but everything is going to be combined for like the the final tally but just to throw it out there i wore 20 niche slash indie fragrances this month or january and i wore 11 designer which i thought i probably would have worn more designer but i didn't okay for the Top fragrance of the month, the one that I wore the most. This is going to actually be a two-way tie for first, and there's no second or third place because everything would be like second and third place. So there's only two of them here, and they're tied for first. These fragrances got two wearings a piece, which is pretty good when you consider the size of my fragrance wardrobe. So the first one that got two wearings is from sensual obsessions and kevin did such an amazing job with this fragrance that i wore twice that is going to be aftermath love aftermath a lot this is his version of initio side effect and it smells whew, look at that atomizer that's good it smells amazing this definitely is worth like fragrance of the month for january <laughs> hands down this thing is so good now the other one that tied up uh, aftermath this one got two wearings as well so we have two fragrances tied for first we're not doing a second or third place this month but it is from zahara and it is signature noir this purple juice and this one is equally as beautiful a little bit different style but equally as beautiful 
Smells so good. So this one's going to have uh, some citrus up top, frankincense, myrrh. Kind of has a little bit of a lavender feel. Uh, these two fragrances, they deserve the first ever Fragrance Wardrobe Fragrance of the Month Award. Although they have to share it, but they are both winners. Fragrance of the Month, or Fragrances of the Month. Zahara Signature Noir, Central Obsessions, Aftermath. Beautiful, beautiful scents. And they might win for February as well. They're so good. Now we're going to get into the house of the month. Which house did I wear the most of? And we'll do same thing if it works out that way. We'll have a first place, a second place, a third place. That way we get three houses featured, promoted on the video. Okay, we actually have a four-way tie for third place. Imagine that. Um, each of these four houses, I wore something from their house twice. So we have Cremo, and I think I wore a blue, blue cedar and cypress from them and bourbon and oak. Really nice. They're like a kind of like a shower all around like care product company. And they make really good affordable fragrances that you can find at like Target and Walmart. So Cremo. And then also tied for third, we have Authenticity, which Authenticity is one of my favorite indie houses. I picked up a couple new offerings from them, Silver Lux and Romeo Blue, wore them both. Therefore, they're tied for third with two wearings from that house. Really good house, very affordable, long-lasting fragrances, original scents. So check those out as well. And I'll try to link all of the houses and everything in the description, you know, so you guys can check them out easier if you want to. Okay, also tied for third for best house. This one is produced best fragrance, but this is going to be from Zaharoff. So they got two wearings as well, and both those wearings were signature noir. So Zaharoff also tied for third for best house of January, and Sammy Andrus. Sammy Andrus, love his stuff as well. Powerful fragrances, they last a long time. A lot of inspired by some original scents. Just really, really good stuff, very affordable. And you can actually pick up his stuff for 10% off if you use coupon code M10. So I'll link his website in the description as well. And I don't remember what I wore. I wore, I think like Zephyr, Zephyr, and what else did I wear? Oh, and Parme Aoud. Those are the two that I wore from Sammy Andrus this month. Okay, now number two spot. Second place for January's best house or most used house. That's going to be Wilhelm Perfumeries. Wilhelm Perfumeries is a niche uh niche house and I actually picked up three of their offerings this month which is why they had three wearings and moved into that number two spot so I ended up wearing Poets of Berlin, Morning Chess and the Oud Affair from Wilhelm. Very good high quality stuff. I'll link them in the description as well. And number one the house that I wore uh, the house that I reached for the most in the month of January is the house that produced the other best fragrance of January. That's Sensual Obsessions. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, they were also my first haul of 2021. So, there was a lot of firsts for me in 2021 that involved <laughs> Sensual Obsessions. Sensual Obsessions, you have one best house for the month of January and tied best fragrance for the month of January. So uh, you guys are killing it. You know what? I think next month I'm going to wear a tuxedo and do this like in awards, like the Oscars or something like that. Moving on, uh, let's go ahead and go over some of the pickups I got in January and which ones I think are going to like dominate my rotation throughout this year and just, you know, be great pickups in my opinion. Okay, so... I picked up 31 new fragrances in January. <laughs> I know, that is a lot. I did not think I picked up 31 
until I added them all up. And I can't, I cannot pick up that many every month. But yeah, I picked up a lot. Uh, 14 of them were niche or indie or clone, something like that. And 17 were designer. I did write down everything I picked up. I'll go ahead and read them and then we'll talk about a few of them individually. So from Central Obsessions, got four pickups. We got Midnight Sky, King of Kings, which is amazing. If you're looking for that unicorn, holy grail of Aventus clones, look no further than Central Obsessions, King of Kings. Juicy, full pineapple that does not smell like Lemon Pledge in the opening and beautiful smokiness and throughout the dry down good price you're going to love it check it out okay also getting back on track picked up aftermath which was tied for fragrance of the month and new york blues from cremo i picked up silver water and birch which i have not worn uh blue si blue cedar and cypress and bourbon and oak from authenticity i picked up romeo blue and silver lux from Wilhelm Perfumeries, I picked up Morning Chess, The Oud Affair, and Poets of Berlin. Uh, let's see. From Commodity, I picked up Vetiver and Bergamot. From Imaginary Authors, I picked up Cape Heartache. Really good fragrance, by the way. Uh, Aqua de Joe, picked up Profondo, and that completes my Aqua de Joe line. Also picked up from YSL, Yves Saint Laurent. Y E D T. I picked up Origami from Solo Loe. Loe? Loe? Lo? I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> from Azaro, I picked up Levanzo. And from, what is it? Like Fragrances of Ireland, something like that. It's a niche house from Ireland. I picked up Patrick Cologne. Uh, also from Carter Barcelona, we have Elborn. And from. Uh, Brooks Brothers, I got Classic and Classic Blue, Sean John's at 3 a.m., and from Banana Republic, there's seven pickups. I got Slate, Cordovan, Black Walnut, Neroli Woods, Linen Vetiver, Leather Reserve, and Vintage Green. As you can tell, the racks did have plenty of Banana Republic stuff. Now, from Banana Republic, I think I'm going to get some wearing out of Vintage Green in the spring. The rest of it, I don't know if it's going to really dive into my rotation or not. Vintage green, yes. Also, what's going to really kill it for me in the spring and summer is going to be morning chess. This might be, this is one of my favorite or better pickups, I thought, of January. Very good. It's going to get a lot of play. Uh, Poets of Berlin from Wilhelm, really good as well. Now, the Oud Affair, I'm probably going to give it a couple wearings, a couple more wearings here in February, maybe one or two in March, and then it's going to go away for the year. So it probably won't crack into that rotation very much. Now from Authenticity, you will see probably year-round me wearing Silver Lux and Romeo Blue. Those are definitely going to be regulars in the rotation every month. Uh, YSLY, very excited about YSLY. I've been putting off getting it. Finally got it in a little blue green haul that I will have a video coming out about shortly, like a couple days from now. Really good blue fragrance. Uh, this may be one of my favorites, I think. Also, with Aqua de Joe Profondo, I had a decan of this. I finally bought a bottle, and this is actually, I think, one of my favorite blues as well. Going to be great for the spring and summer with that original Aqua de Joe DNA like resting in there as well. Let's see, what else am I really excited for? I am very excited for this little cheapie here. Uh, you'll see this in my Blue Green Hall video coming up pretty soon. It's from Azaro. It's from their uh, Solarissimo line, and it's Lavonzo. Green fragrance, amazing scent. And I had it on a tester for like four or five days now and I still smell it. So I think it might perform pretty well also. And this one, it's just an amazing scent. It smells extremely good. I can't believe it's $20. This might be 
a hidden gem, like chibi gold, whatever you want to call it. But this is awesome. The Elborn that I picked up, it might get one more wearing this year. Maybe, maybe not. I like it, but I'm not crazy about it. And the time of the year is like, you know, it's going to be out of season pretty soon. What else do we have here that I'm excited about? I am very excited about origami as well. Beautiful green scent. Not a cheapy. It has a really nice grassy scent. Going to play phenomenally in spring and in summer. I'm really looking forward to that. You probably won't see me wear it until March or April. And same thing with that uh, Azaro. Cape Heartache. That, I really like that one as well. It's very green, but it's going to be a cooler weather green with that nice strawberry. I really enjoyed wearing that as well. Uh, you might see me get one or two more wearings out of that as well. But as soon as the weather gets a lot warmer, it's probably going to get put up. And one more that I'm very excited to wear this coming spring is Patrick Cologne right here. This thing smells really good. It's on uh, Amazon right now for like $40, which I think is less than what it usually goes for. It has a very nice like oak moss in there, kind of a grown up, like sophisticated green, if that makes sense. But it's really good, I enjoy it a lot. And you'll see me wear that probably quite a bit this spring and summer. So, all right guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope it was entertaining, something different, something new. Uh, if you did like it, please comment, let me know if you did. If you didn't, let me know. You didn't enjoy it so i know whether or not to keep doing these throughout the year you know 12 of them all right guys i appreciate you watching i think i already said that and i'll catch you guys with the next video